22, a 70.0 gram piece of metal at 80.0 degrees Celsius is placed in 100 grams of water at 22.0 degrees Celsius contained in a calorimeter like that shown in figure 5.12, which is this picture right here. So the metal and the water come to the same temperature, which is 24.6 degrees Celsius. And now the question says, how much heat did the metal give up to the water? And then what's the specific heat of the metal? Okay, cool. So the first thing is, is that I just put this picture over here just to show you what type of calorimeter we're using. This is called a simple calorimeter, but the whole thing here is that there is no heat loss. So all the heat that's going on with the two components in this calorimeter is there's nothing being lost. Everything is being transferred. That's an assumption. Okay. So the heat loss is very, very, very negligible to the point in which we say there is none. And because we say that the math is pretty easy. So the first thing I'm going to say is basically what I just said, but in a formula, I'm going to say that the heat, which is Q. So the heat of the metal, so the Q of the metal would basically equal the Q of the water, right? The heat is just transferred from either the metal to the water or the water to the metal. But we got to find out which one is positive and which one is negative, right? That's how we're going to figure that out is just do a little chart. I'm going to say that I have a metal and then I do this little chart here and we got H2O. Okay, now I just list out whatever they told me. They told me that the metal was 70 grams, so I'm gonna say that that's an M, right? So that's 70.0 grams. And the metal was at 80 degrees Celsius. So that was its initial temperature. So TI for the metal was 80 degrees Celsius. And now they told us that for the water, the mass was 100 grams and the water was at 22, right? That's the initial temp. Now they did tell us a final temp, right? And any time that these two things come into equilibrium, they will always have the same temperature. So in this case, the same temperature is 24.6 degrees Celsius. So that's going to be the final temperature for both of them. So the TF, for the metal is going to be 24.6 degrees Celsius. And then the TF for the water is also going to be 24.6 degrees Celsius. Now, which one gained heat and which one lost heat? Well, you can kind of go by what's happening with the temps. If the temperature is decreasing, that means it's getting colder, it's losing heat. So that way the Q would be negative. And then vice versa, if you're increasing in temp, it's getting hotter gaining heat. So that's a positive Q. So take it from the water. Do you see how it's going from 22 to 24.6? It's gaining in temperature. So I can already know that this is going to be a positive Q. The metal, you see how it's going from 80 to 24.6? You're dropping in temp. So that's going to be a negative Q. So now I know that the metal would have a negative in front of it. And then the water would have a positive if we wanted to put the positive, just to show. Now let's just find out the delta T's between the two components. And remember, delta T is TF minus TI, right? So it would be the 24.6 minus the 80. And maybe I'll just put 80.0 for this. And then for the delta T on this side, it would be 24.6 minus 22.0. So let's just see what our delta T's are. Let me just put a little line through that and put this back. Okay. So delta T for the metal would be 24.6 minus 80. So negative 55.4 degrees Celsius. And then the delta T for the the water would be a positive 2.6. So everything is checking out. You could always just double check your signs by just, you know, keep reiterating, you know, does this make sense? Are we gaining temp? Are we losing temp? So we're good up until now. 
So now, we want to find out how much heat did the metal give to the water. Well, we can't really figure it out with the metal's amount of information because we don't know the specific heat of the metal. But there is one specific heat that we have to memorize, and that's water's specific heat. I'm going to put it over here. Water specific heat, which I label as S, is 4.184, right? Joules per gram degree Celsius. And maybe I will just say that this is the S of always water. So I can use my formula, which is this one, Q equals MS delta T, to figure out what's the heat of the water. Because from that, I could find out how much it, you know, was transferred with the metal. So let's figure it out. The mass of the water, they told me it was 100 grams, so I got that going. We just said that we knew the S, 4.184. And then the delta T, which is what we just found out for the water, was 2.6. Okay, so let's see. Q equals 100 times 4.184 times 2.6. So 100 times 4.184 times 2.6, I get roughly 1,087, actually 88, we'll round it up, 1,088 joules. That's how much heat was uh, increased to the water. So if this was the amount that was given to the water, how did it get that? Oh, it had to come from the metal. So how much heat did the metal give up to the water? It gave up this much. It gave up 1,088 joules. Now, we need to find out what the specific heat is, right, of the metal. But that's good because now we know what Q is. So we can basically do the same information, but now just with the metal numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just erase this. So pause the video if you need to, um, if you need to write anything down. But I'm just going to use the same formula and just plug in the different numbers. So now for this part, the Q is now 1,088 joules. The mass of the metal was the 70 grams. This is what we're solving for, and now we choose the delta T of the metal, which is negative 55.4 degrees Celsius. Now remember, whatever the positive Q was, this was a positive, the Q for the metal has to be negative. So this will be a negative value for the Q. Let me maybe just move this up over here. So this is the answer to the first one. That's how much heat the metal gave to the water. And now we're just going to solve for the S. All right, so let's see. Negative 1088 equals 70 times, maybe I'll just leave it as S. Or I said it was X, so there you go. Negative 55.4. And then this is just algebra. Solve for X. So... 70 times negative 55.4. I get negative 3878, and this was x, so this is x. Get x by itself, divide by negative 3878, and then we will arrive at our number. So x, which is the specific heat, 1088 divided by this number, I get 0 0.28, and looks like for here, maybe three sig figs, but we don't really care about sig figs. <laughs> Joules per gram degree Celsius, and there you go. So that's the specific heat of the, of the metal. All right, so there's your two parts. Maybe I'll just put that this is the specific heat. And this is the amount 
Uh, this is the heat transferred. Heat. There you go. There's your two answers, guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, okay? Um, tell your friends, tell your classmates that this service exists. I think it's a pretty cool service. What do you, what do you guys think? Um, you guys have been awesome. You guys have been working so hard. I love talking to you guys in the comments. And let's, let's keep rocking and rolling, all right? I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.